Hello friends, today the problem that we are going to discuss is uh, we are given the list of meetings and we need to figure out the minimum number of meeting rooms required to schedule those meetings. So first of all, we'll uh, start looking at the input data. So uh, the input data is given uh, in the form of arrays. So we are given two arrays, one is the start and one is the end. So start represent the start timings of the meetings and end represent the uh, end time of the meeting. So they are like long arrays. So at every index you will figure out, uh, you can uh, find out the start time of that particular index and end time of the, that particular index. For example, at index zero, you will find out the start time of the first meeting and uh, at index zero of the end array, you will find out the end time of the first meeting. So the first meeting starts, for example, at nine and ends at 9.30 this way, but this data is in long. And now you need to figure out the minimum number of uh, meeting rooms required to schedule those meetings. So we will analyze this data uh, further using timelines. So uh, first of all, we'll see like, uh, for example, we have one meeting from uh, nine to 12. Another meeting starts at uh, 10 and ends at, for example, uh, 11.30. Another meeting uh, starts, uh, for example, at 7 and ends at 8. So this is the, and uh, one of the meetings starts at 10.30 and ends at 1. So now we will see that uh, how many ongoing meeting uh, that we have. So at this, if we go from left to right, so here uh, we have uh, this only one ongoing meeting, which is this, which starts at seven and ends at eight. So at this interval from eight to nine, we don't have any meetings. So the number of ongoing meetings are zero in this interval. Then uh, we have from uh, nine uh, till 10, we have only one meeting that is going on. This It is this meeting that starts at nine and ends at 12. Then at this time duration, we have, uh, for example, two meetings that are going on. One is this meeting that is from nine to 12. Another meeting is from 10 to 13. So at this uh, point of time, we only require two meeting rooms, like because two ongoing meetings are uh, going on. So, and at this particular time interval at after 10.30 and before 11.30, so there are three meetings that are going on. One is this that starts at 10.30 and at 1, second is this one and third is this one. So this way we need to analyze this problem. And now the better way to analyze it, if we sort this, uh, I mean, arrays, I mean timings with an start times and end times. For example, I have start array and I have some end array. So for example, one meeting starts at nine, another meeting starts at 9.30, then other meeting starts at uh, 10. So the, I have sorted uh, this start array with the start times. And now in similar fashion, I'll, I'm sorting it with the, like one meeting ends at uh, 10.15, another meeting ends at 11, another meeting ends at, for example, 12. So now we'll start comparing this start and end arrays. So we'll uh, pick up the zeroth index. So this is the zero index. This is the first, second. And in the similar fashion, we have zeroth index, first and second index of the end arrays. We'll pick up the uh, first indexes, that is zeroth index. And now we'll keep on, uh, we'll maintain uh, like number of ongoing meetings, one variable called number of ongoing meetings. At starting, uh, because you have first meeting, so you'll keep on incrementing this because this one of your meetings ends at 10.15 and um, so this guy, the start time of the meeting is less than this 10.15. So number of ongoing meetings will be, uh, for example, one. Then uh, again, uh, you'll say 9.30, then your uh, meeting will be two because it hasn't ended yet. Any of your meetings hasn't ended yet. 
so you will keep on incrementing the ongoing meetings so here also one meeting starts at 10 but still no meetings gets ended so your number of uh, ongoing meetings is 3 at this point of time and now your end array will uh, start array has already left so you need 3 meeting rooms in this way so this is how you can uh, calculate now we'll uh, jump on uh, to the code uh, how we'll uh, code this problem so we'll have some method called uh, for example 5 find minimum meeting rooms it will take start array and end array which will have the timings and it will return me the integer that is the minimum number of meeting rooms required to schedule these meetings so now we'll take uh, first of all we need to sort these arrays so we'll say arrays dot sort start then we'll say arrays dot sort end and now we'll uh, see how to uh, so as we have uh, now we'll take like number of ongoing meetings for example we we'll start with one because one meeting will already have the start uh, one meeting group is already required so and we have minimum number of meeting rooms that will also start with one and now we'll have two variables uh, to iterate over it uh, we'll say int i equal to one and j equal to zero we need not compare the uh, start uh, first element because first we already assume that one meeting room is already required to schedule uh, first of the meeting so we will compare uh, um, we will start comparing from the first index of the start array now we will see while i is less than uh, your start dot length and j is less than start dot length till that time we will uh, iterate over uh, this while and now we'll check now we'll see one start array and end array will uh, will be there so we'll compare the start if my start of i is less than my this is start this is end so end of j now if i start is less than my end of j so i'll increment the number of ongoing meetings so number of ongoing meetings plus plus and now here i'll compare if uh, my number of ongoing meetings is greater than my minimum number of this other variable uh, meeting rooms then we'll update this variable in this if condition only we'll say minimum number of meeting rooms equal to number of ongoing meetings else now if our end is less than or equal to start so this means uh, this meeting has finished so as soon as this meeting got finished so we can decrementing the we can decrement the number of uh, on going meetings we can decrement the number of ongoing meetings and uh, we can increment the index of this particular j plus plus we can increment and here we can uh, in the in this if condition wherever this if condition ends before that we are saying i plus plus so in the similar fashion uh, we keep on incrementing this and at the end we will return your minimum number of meeting rooms 
so this is how uh, i have also written this code on uh, my github link so i'll share uh, the github link on uh, this uh, video's description thanks a lot